When you ask brokers or agents, they will all tell you that in residential real estate, it is typical for the real estate commissions to be included in and paid from the purchase price when the transaction closes. So if, for example, the commission allocated and agreed to by the seller for the listing agent is 3% and the buyer's agent is 2% and assuming the property sells at $500,000, then the listing agent's broker will get 3% of $500,000 or $15,000 and the buyer's agent's broker will receive 2% of $500,000 or $10,000 at closing. Because the sellers are allocating the amount or rate of commissions to both the seller's broker and the buyer's broker at the time the listing agreement is signed, many brokers and agents are telling buyers not to worry about the commission because it is paid by the sellers and sometimes they might even tell buyers that they are not paying a commission because it is included in the price. This, however, is a little lie. Allow me to explain with a quick non-real estate example. Have you ever eaten at a restaurant where you have to add the tip of the waitress or waiter to the bill? Of course, we all have, right? So what if one day you came to that restaurant and the prices went up by 20% and included the tip? Would you agree with the waiter or waitress if they told you that you are no longer paying the tips because the restaurant owner pays the tips from the bill customers pay? Nonsense, right? You're still paying the bill. In real estate and in a perfect world, the sellers should be paying whatever commission or fee they agree to to their seller's agent called the listing agent. Listing agents help sellers market and sell their properties. The buyers on their end should be paying whatever commission or fee they agreed to pay their buyer's agent for helping them select, visit, negotiate, and close on a property. So each party would be paying for their own agent. At closing, the seller would be receiving net proceeds equal to purchase price less their agent's commission and closing costs from the price paid by the buyer. At closing, the buyer would pay the agreed price plus the commission to their agent and any buyer's closing costs. Let's look at a simplified example. Let's assume contract price is $500,000. The buyer's agent commission is 2% of price, or $10,000. The listing agent's commission is 3% of price, or $15,000. So if we look at the buyer's side, the buyer pays $500,000, that's the purchase price, plus $10,000 of commission to their agent. Their total price is $510,000. On the side of the seller, the seller gets $500,000 from the purchase price from the buyer, less $15,000 of commission to their listing agent or seller's agent, so they will net $485,000. <music>